we will actually send in each crew two men and two women. But of course, we don't know yet, scientists don't know yet if, uh, if fertilization works in reduced gravity of Mars. We don't know how a fetus will develop in the reduced gravity of Mars. So before we have a really long and thin embryo, let's, uh, let's find out that information first. Let's build a colony that is safe. So maybe 20 or 30 or 40 people living there. Uh, Im imagine a toddler running around in a colony with four uh, astronauts living on Mars. That's not a good place for a kid to grow up. So. At be the most point, famous kid there ever was, though. The first Martian. Like after Jesus. <laughs> Jesus in the manger comes the child born on Mars. Yeah, the second first most Martian, famous child so. ever. Yeah. Okay. No, that's that's crazy. But uh, it, it needs to be done in a in a thoughtful way. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will, we'll be sending very responsible people to Mars, and I expect that they will behave responsibly. <laughs> so so on, the, on the Mars One website, it says, Mars One will advise the first settlement inhabitants not to attempt to have children. <laughs> At all. Plus, am I not right? Sperm count drops in zero G? They never told me that <laughs> one. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? So it says don't have babies, but it doesn't say you can't have sex. Right. That's all. Well, right. also, can you send, like, a pregnant animal and then see what happens? Is, I mean, a non-human animal. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, no, I, I like a cat or a dolphin or something. Yeah, dolphin, yeah. I had a time. That's yeah, like, just like a pregnant the dolphin. Cat first. I just want to, yeah. Send one of those internet cats, right? And yeah. that, that'll fund it. Everybody <laughs> watches the internet kittens. Oh, that's true. Yeah. If you sent an adorable pregnant cat, then <laughs> that's the solution for raising money. But, but, None of this, like, everyone wants to see the landing. We yeah. all just want to see But I'm it. presuming the reason he doesn't want them to attempt to reproduce for the first crew is because they want to do some kind of testing and experiments to yeah, see what's I, possible. Yeah, I can only guess right? that. So, just, so that would almost make sense, because that's what you're saying about being responsible. If you're trying to survive right. at all, right. this might your not first be a good choice idea. would not be having toddlers running around, right? because they themselves are not good at survival. Right. <laughs> Most right. of the life of the parent is preventing the toddler from dying. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong here? Parent, any parents yeah. in there? That is the whole job to have them not die. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Kids are hard enough to track if you're trying to keep your own damn self alive. Yeah, so if you had a, if you had a, like, a, you have teenagers at home, obviously, I, right? I, yeah. I think, I think Neil's, uh, Neil's, Neil's, yeah. uh, you know. It'd be one thing for a toddler to break your dishwasher, but to break your thing in outer space yeah. would be terrible. Be, Dang it, I told you not to push that button. <laughs> yeah. Yes.